West African leaders may lift painful economic sanctions against Mali once an interim president is inaugurated on Friday, September 25th in the wake of the August 18 military coup. According to the regional bloc's envoy, while praising the junta's leadership, there are enough signs that the body may lift the sex sanction. The comments suggest the 15-nation ECOWAS community of West African states ECOWAS would accept the candidates picked this week to lead the transition of power, although they do not have the fully civilian background the bloc had demanded. The easing of sanctions would be a relief for Mali, whose imports have slumped 30% since its neighbors closed borders and halted financial flows after the deposing of President Ibrahim Boba Keita. We've now been joined by international affairs expert Paul Ejime. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Ejime. Thank you, Anita. Do you think ECOWAS will lift the ban on Mali, having appointed a civilian, though a former military personnel? Well, I think they are working towards that. Um, ECOWAS mediator, former Nigerian president, um, good luck, Jonathan, is back in, in Bamako. Like, um, you know, ECOWAS um, leaders agreed um, in, um, in a minister meeting um, in Ghana, or, is that um, they should go and um, talk about it. Even though the junta failed to meet the 15th uh, is a September deadline that ECO has given them. But um, a week later, they came up with um, uh, the name of um, uh, col retired Colonel um, uh, Ba Ndao, who uh, was a former um, uh, uh, defense minister until 2014. And then, um, you know, actually had worked also as a uh, de um, a bodyguard to former president of uh, Mali. So I think they are working on it because uh, those are the conditions. But what has happened, uh, they, 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 they are, I think they are being clever, by the, the, the junta. Um, instead of going for uh, a, a typically civilian person, they have brought, they have brought um, uh, a retired military um, uh, uh, personnel. And then they say, once a soldier, always a soldier. And by the way, the vice president is also the a leader of uh, the current junta, uh, Colonel um, uh, Asimi uh, Goita. So it appears that um, the junta, they have gotten uh, practically um, all that they wanted. They suggested the 18 months uh, transition against the 12 that ECOWAS suggested. And if ECOWAS should also allow them to go with this uh, uh, composition, it means that um, really, what choice do they have? It's difficult to approve them. Uh, uh, the military once they have taken power. So uh, they have to live, the, live with it, uh, try to manage it. That is what it is, and see how far uh, it goes. But it's tricky. Um, the, the danger is that the uh, military, once they have seized power, they don't want to let, let off so easily. I think that is what is happening. They don't want to surrender uh, the transition to an all-civilian um, uh, 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 you know, formation. And that is where the, the issue is. But by the way, as this is happening, uh, two um, uh, um, uh, you know uh, private sector organisations, association of uh, traders in Mali, they they have taken a, a case to um, the ECOWAS court, uh, uh, community court, that will be heard on on Friday. They are they are you know um, against the the imposition of sanctions by ECOWAS, and then um, the two neighbours, uh, Niger and um, Burkina Faso that have um, also closed their borders to, to Mali. They are saying that this is um, against, um, you know, it, that it wasn't, it didn't follow due process and all that. So you can see that a lot is happening, uh, both internally and then externally, while the international community is doing all this can through ECOWAS to make sure that um, the military goes back to the barracks. Um, governance issues are also happening. M5, the, the coalition that led the protest, um, that um, actually led to the military coming in uh, on um, 18th uh, August. It's not clear what they, they initially opposed um, the, the fact that um, uh, a military should um, uh, should head it. Uh, nobody knows what is their position on a retired military personnel uh, uh, colonel heading it. So these are the the, the, the rough edges that must be um, uh, you know worked on if uh, the, the mediation and then progress can, can be made. Now, and, ahead of the inauguration tomorrow, do you think the military junta has the support of the people now, including the main opposition? 
Well, that is what I alluded to, that um, the, the M5, um, uh, June um, uh, 5 movement called the uh, M5 uh, uh, RFP, they were not um, in support of um, uh, a military heading it. And they had actually complained that what uh, the military has announced was not what happened during a national uh, consultative meeting. So it remains to, see, to, be, to be seen whether um, the ECOWAS uh, mediator will be able to bring all of them together uh, so that uh, Malians will speak with one voice. It's not clear. Uh, they haven't said anything um, up till now, um, but um, uh, uh, whether they will accept the uh, person, the government that will be inaugurated tomorrow is another matter. Those are some of the uh, challenges that ECOWAS and uh, the mediators will have to face. Thank you very much for your thoughts, Mr. Ejime. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.